Well, I apologize. My t-shirt looks a little messed up, but uh, I just had a little snack. I took a break from the countdown and had a little snack. And now I'm going to go back to the countdown again. Billboard's Hot 100. It's June the 15th, 1963. And at num oh, this is a big mover. Oh, my God. Number 58. Up 30 notches from 88. It debuted at 88 on Billboard's Hot 100. 100. Tie my kangaroo down, sport. That is Rolf Harris. Tie me kangaroo down. Oh boy, this this is about it. This song is about an Australian stockman who's dying. He's on his deathbed. He's about to go. And uh, Rolf Harris was inspired by the Calypso craze that was happening back in the late 50s. That was kind of started by Harry Belafonte. Not Harry, but yeah, it was Harry Belafonte. And uh, he wrote Tommy Kangaroo Down. Now, the song was put out in 1960. It was a huge hit in Australia. It went to number one in Australia. Top five hit in the UK in 1960. But it bombed here in America when it was put out in 1960. But three years later, a DJ in Denver, Colorado, he put the song on just as a laugh and it got such a phenomenal response he was playing a song about every other hour or almost once an hour or so and Epic Records got word of it and they re-released Timey Kangaroo Down it became a huge humongous hit for Rolf Harris in 1963 one other note about this song guess who tried to cover guess who covered the record well maybe you won't be surprised because he, he, he did it He's a great, he does a lot of cover records. Pat Boone covered it. Pat Boone heard Rolf Harris' version of it when he was in Australia back in 1960 when that song was out. And he told his record company, Pat Boone, I want to record this song. And the record company said, what? what are you talking about? This song doesn't make any sense. But Pat Boone heard something in that record. And he put out his version, I think, in 1963, but it didn't do anything. Rolf Harris just took it. And, uh, but, well, it gave Pat Boone some bragging rights. He said, he came to his record company and said, See, this song did have something. It sure did. Rolf Harris, brilliant novelty record, Time and Kangaroo Down at number, 70, number 58 on Billboard's Hot 100.